All right, so now that we have the kind of basic idea of creating a little rectangle or circle or triangle, any of those basic uh, shapes, right, we could use uh, D3 to do so, just changing this and, you know, some attributes about it. The next thing that we want to do is see then how we can actually interact with that created object using some D3 functionality, namely um, the transitions. So in the next example, again, we have uh, D3 loaded in our head tag. I have um, just a SVG element created with some width and height. Create a variable like before called SVG that grabs that SVG put a circle on it. Now this time what we're doing is we're actually creating a variable to hold that um, geometry that we've created. All right, in the last one we just had this append, um, but now we're creating a variable called C that will be that circle. And then we can work on that circle. So using D3 there is this transition function and don't need these. Um, we, we were exploring this a little bit in class, like what the effect of adding a different ease in here uh, would be. And you have then again uh, different attributes, you know, different attributes that you can control, like where the x and y values of this circle will end up. So in this case, we're starting at 2, 2, we've got a radius of 20, and we'll end up at 800, uh, 800 and it starts green and should end up red. So let's see what this ends up looking like. Have to look at what my URL for this was. And we see that going through. And, you know, maybe I want to um, trim how much it moves so I can see it at the end. We could even move it in a little bit. Make it a little smaller to start. Make it bigger at the end. All right, but um, I hope that that looks very clear and how we could easily, you know, the idea again is that we're going to move this to work on kind of groups of elements rather than having a single circle appended at some x and y. We're going to you know, try and attach data to these coordinates, and then maybe make some sort of transition also based on the data. But um, just the idea that you can create a variable and then work on that variable using um, functions that D3 has in it, much like what we've been doing all along with, uh, with Python. But here's a nice one using this transition method.